Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. So today in this video, I am going to talk about why do we have mud cravings? Or many times you must have seen some of our friends, family, they eat chalks, a writing uh, stick with which we write on blackboard. Now to everything is digital. But still in some schools, teachers use chalk, especially to solve numericals or these kind of things, especially in mathematics class or for some diagrams or something. So that chalk, many times many of your friends may be eating that chalk or you must have seen sometimes small children eating mud, sometimes elders also eating mud, sometimes ice cubes from refrigerator, sometimes uh, whitewash and these kind of many small things many people eat. And when you ask them why you are eating, they say like, we have addiction, we have a craving for that. And we don't know what's the solution. And many times even parents don't understand like why he is eating this whitewash. So let's see what Ayurveda has to say about it and how we can overcome it naturally. According to Ayurveda, your body is the center of your intelligence. I'm not talking about only mind. But I am also talking about the various functions that are happening in our body. And as you know, creator has created us and it is the highest form of intelligence. It is just like we are not aware about it. That is different thing. But uh, that's how nature has created us. Have you ever observed sometimes we feel a lot of eating like sour food and we keep eating some plums or sometimes oranges we keep eating keep eating keep eating sometimes lemons sometimes some citrus things we just keep eating and some, sometimes tamarind it is just it feels like we can't stop eating it but if you keep eating keep eating it there is one time when you feel like that's all we can't eat anymore so this craving for eating sour shows that you have a deficiency of vitamin c so whenever uh, our body has deficiency of vitamin C, we should go grab some citrus fruits and start eating them rather than going and taking some tablets. When there are no fruits available, another alternative is tablet. But uh, for everything, there can't be a tablet as it is till now. For vitamin C, luckily we have. Similarly, when we feel like drinking water, our body generates thirst and thirst is a signal that we feel like okay we are thirsty we need to drink water. So these are the small signs which our body tells us okay this you do, this you do and this is my need, that is my need. This is all, all the very subtler symptoms that our body keep telling us on daily basis. Now the question comes why many children and many people and even women even during pregnancy they eat a lot of mud uh, or Mm, earth element uh, why they are eating it why they have a craving to eat it like you, they just hide it they don't want to say it on face but whenever they feel like mud is available they eat it I have seen in many of my patients like this actually we need to understand why this is happening this is happening because we have a deficiency of micronutrients micronutrients which micronutrients those micronutrients which we are going to get from the earth like zinc like calcium like potassium all these kind of minerals we are getting from earth and whenever our body has deficiency of these micronutrients we have craving to eat mud and now the question comes how we can subside this cra craving without eating mud you need to eat those things which contains more of these micronutrients and they are grown under this mud. Actually Mother Earth gives us everything. But still there are certain root vegetables which grows uh, under earth like uh, carrot, like beetroot, potatoes, like uh, sweet potato. All these grows under earth because their stem is edi edible and their stem is uh, covered by earth. So these kind of vegetables absorb more and more of zinc uh, and zinc and potassium and these kind of minerals. Uh, that's why for all these people who has this deficiency of micronutrients in Ayurveda we always recommend carrot and beetroot juice with pepper and little bit of Himalayan salt. One thing is this juice acts as a very good detoxifying agent 
at the same time it nourishes your body with natural micronutrients so these vegetables are very beneficial but make sure they should be organically grown then only these natural minerals will be be there in them otherwise it's it's difficult to take these kind of micronutrients from one vegetable in addition to that what else we can eat just to uh, make this uh, a deficiency of micronutrients in our body you can use nuts how to use nuts you need to soak them overnight uh, regarding that i already have created video you please go through my channel and watch this video how to use nuts according to ayurveda you soak them overnight in the morning just remove the peels and eat these nuts these are very beneficial and it is a great source of all the micronutrients in addition to that many were asking how to uh, fulfill the need of copper ions because they feel like they have they are lacking in copper ions so for all those people you can use water from copper jug or copper bottle but in this you need to take uh, take one precaution that never keep any sour thing in copper bottle like any lemon juice or these kind of things because copper immediately reacts with sour and this kind of water is not at all good for health if you want to drink water from copper bottle don't mix anything in it just simple water you can put and then you can use it this kind of water uh, is very beneficial to fulfill the need of copper ions which is very beneficial for your immunity in addition to that if you want to fulfill your calcium needs for which you have craving for this mud eating or these kind of things you can eat all the white things like uh, cheese milk all the green leafy vegetable freshly cooked freshly plucked coconut coconut is very beneficial the inside fully ripe coconut it's very beneficial if you have calcium deficiency and cashews cashews is also very beneficial uh if you have any kind of calcium deficiency so these things if you keep doing for 21 days you will see slowly slowly your need to have to grab this mud will subside naturally and uh, because after some time your body itself will say okay now i don't want to eat this mud you can try it out and definitely it will help it will help to stop your cravings just don't encouraged mud eating just like this uh, or some white wash eating because one thing it is not good for health, especially white washes they contain a lot of chemicals and mud also direct mud eating is not advised in ayurveda though, though it is recommended in certain things but those are very pure forms of mud uh, made in some ayurveda way that is totally different concept but otherwise uh you should avoid mud eating because it can also cause some parasites or worms in your stomach so these kind of this kind of knowledge is very important to know so that you will not destroy your health and you understand why this urge of having mud is happening why this urge of having this and that is happening so that you will be able to find the solution it is just we need to understand it so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and if you're watching me for the first time there is a bell icon there's a subscription button please click the bell icon hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos also if you would like to support us there is a join button near subscription button you can click the join button and you can support us those of you who want ayurveda consultations please write to me on this given email id and i will let you know how we can schedule it if you have any question please write down those questions in the comment section i will try to answer your questions in the best possible way so with this note i would like to say stay healthy stay blessed take care bye